Perry Wellington uh, started out as a brokerage, which is a full service brokerage, but we offer our, our commission rate at a 4.5% rate, which is substantially lower than a lot of uh, brokers charge in the market to sell residential real estate. We started this out with the notion it would probably have to do a lot more transactions uh, to stay in business as Perry Wellington, but it's important to keep in mind that this full service brokerage is one that we actually do really all the same things or more than a traditional brokerage does. Uh, what we figured as a brokerage is that the business would actually be easier to do with the internet connectivity, the fact that the buyers these days are very much more tuned in to the houses that are available for sale. Um, it actually saves us quite a bit of time and money to be able to service buyers in a market using uh, electronic tools, uh, the websites, and a lot of the uh, advanced technology that's available today actually saves us quite a bit in the process. We started out uh, with uh, real estate in Holidaysburg, Pennsylvania, and we grew the business over the last two years to eight locations. Uh, along the way, we actually got into a lot of other types of businesses uh, to really augment the consumer experience, really help clients save money through the whole process. One of the things that once I became a broker and started Perry Wellington, almost immediately I was faced with the fact that, that there's all of these other vendors and contractors associated with the real estate transaction that each seemed to get their own fee out of the client. And it was very frustrating to me to see that clients throughout the process were very, uh, for lack of a better term, they were very uninformed. It just didn't seem like everybody was advocating for clients in a way in the real estate process to make sure that they save money. So we actually got into the mortgage business and started Circuit Mortgage. And we also got into the closing business. And we have a, a closing company called Precision Settlement Group that actually does everything we can to save the client money. We looked at this, the fact that real estate agents need lots of education. Uh, and there's an ongoing education component. Every two years, real estate agents have to get continuing education for 14 hours. So I started Advance Academy to actually train real estate agents and to actually get them the continuing education they need on an ongoing basis. We really had a plan in mind that we're executing on currently with the help of the incubator staff is the notion of building these modules to help train Perry Wellington staff as they improve through their own skill sets. So we're looking at not just the base minimum of education that a real estate agent needs, we're really looking at how do we showcase real estate with, with competent, trained salespeople that actually can help consumers in new and valuable ways. And one of the things that we, we plan together with the, with the Reading Incubator is really this notion that we'd have all of these courses put together that, that we're developing and building right now with the, with the aid of the staff that actually help us get to the next level in terms of education for our staff. One of the things that we've really experienced uh, that's been very exciting is the growth of uh, Perry Wellington as a, as a company. Within uh, two short years, we've actually uh, put on uh, 49 real estate agents, which is a significant number of agents uh, given you know, the fact that we just started out just a short time ago. And that's largely because of, uh, of a couple of things. Uh, the, the business model that we offer with 4.5% commission rate and the fact that we uh, promote uh, things that are a little bit different than how some um, brokerages work. We don't do dual agency as a brokerage. And you know, some agents won't ever join us because they, they enjoy being dual agents. Uh, and for those who aren't familiar with dual agency, uh, it's where the same agent that lists your home also represents the buyer in a home. And you know, we, we've taken a couple of these concepts and, and really applied them to real estate and, and attempt to do real estate not only different in terms of how we service clients uh, with electronic forms and electronic delivery, but we also look at the business practice of how we're, how we're doing our business as well. Uh, so these things combined really make uh, our, our business a bit different than the traditional brokerage. And what it does at the same time is it, it creates a platform for folks to really think about how the future of real estate really looks. Is it, it's important that we look forward in real estate and not just look back.